Can you guess what all of those cameras in front of me and some of those behind me have in common? They all use this type of discontinued battery, which is commonly referred to as a PX625 or MR9 type battery. The problem is that those kind of batteries got banned somewhere around the 70s as they include toxic mercury, which is very bad for your health and also for the environment, which left lots of camera users frustrated as they couldn't use all their cameras anymore. Of course, with time, there were different solutions found for a replacement battery to the classical PX625. The easiest and most common one probably being just using a more modern 625 type alkaline battery. Now to understand why this is not a good option for most of the cameras, why it's important to have constant voltage with your camera's light meter. Now if your camera needs a, an old PX625 type of battery, it has a light meter. Like the Rolly 35 has a light meter up top here. And the thing with the light meter is that those are commonly built for a constant voltage. So the good thing about the old PX625 type batteries was that they had a constant voltage output over time. They started at 1.35 volts and the voltage remained pretty constant up until the end of the lifespan of the battery. If we take a more modern alternative to the PX625, the V625U battery, which is an alkaline battery with the same size, so it will still fit the camera. If you look closely, you will notice that those are rated with 1.5 volts, but usually if you measure it, they start at an even higher voltage of approximately 1.55 volts. What will happen if you insert them into your camera? The voltage will constantly drop and you never know if your light meter is either overexposing, which it'll, it'll usually do if the voltage is be, um, lower than the 135 volts that it's calibrated for, or if it will underexpose, which it will if the voltage is higher than the 1.35 volts it's rated for. Now, another thing that comes into play here is that usually film loves overexposure. It's much better to overexpose the image than to underexpose because negative film will usually still carry enough information even if you overexpose five stops, which means that it's better to be in this place than in this one. So it's pretty bad to start with a too high voltage from the beginning. Now, the technically refined um, solution to this problem would be to use such a active um, adapter, which will use a modern battery like a SR44 or LR44, which is also a, an alkaline battery, which will drop in voltage, but the adapter will tune the voltage to the correct 1.35 volts. Such adapters are um, usually made by Kanto camera. The problem is um, that those adapters by Kanto are pretty costly. With import tax from Japan they can be like 50 bucks or so. The easiest and cheapest option is to use hearing aid batteries like this 675 type of battery, which has um, the form factor of an LR44 together with an adapter to give it the right form. As you can see, the PX625 is a little bigger. Now, if you put this battery, which reacts with air, this is why there's such a sticker. If you pair those, now you have a battery that has the same size. This is an adapter we 3D print out of conductive material. So it will make contact on the side of the camera and also here at the bottom. And now it's a replica of the PX625, but, and that's um, the good thing about those Zinc Air batteries, they are rated for 1.4 volts and usually under load they even drop a little higher. So 
they start at 1.4 but when you insert them they will drop to 1.35 and then they have almost exactly the same curve as the original PX625. That's a cheap option, it's affordable and it works well so you get the correct exposure while using those batteries. Now the problem with cameras like the Leica CL or the Rolly 35 series is that the battery compartment is inside the film chamber which means that to change the battery you would have to expose the film at the back. The battery compartment is here. Now if I would use um, like batteries either with an active adapter from Kanto or just a simple adapter and the battery runs out I would have to expose my film or keep on shooting without a light meter. A solution to that would be to change the batteries every time I change film but um, this would mean that I would change and replace batteries that are still fine just to make sure that I don't run out of battery. This is the point where in my opinion the best solution to this problem comes into play which is this charger for Varda V80H batteries. What are those? Nickel metal hydride batteries which are rated at around 1.2 volts of constant voltage output which means okay they start a little lower in voltage than the required 135 volts but as with the hearing aid batteries and the original mercury batteries that are banned the voltage stays constant over time. Now the big plus with those batteries is that they are rechargeable and we made this little custom charger insert the battery here like this you plug in your USB C type of cable and you're ready to go and you can buy like two of those batteries and now it's not a problem if you change the battery every time you change the film because you don't have to throw away the batteries that's really cool now you may wonder what's with, uh, with the, this difference in voltage the original PX625 batteries are rated for 1.3 volts but the Varda V80H they are rated for 1.2 volts. Under voltage will usually lead to a slight overexposure and that's usually not a bad thing except when you use slide film the little voltage difference will lead to a half a stop of overexposure which you wouldn't notice at all. Um, compared to if you would use those alkaline batteries which will lead to underexposure. So this is it, a roundup about how and when to use our rechargeable V80H batteries together with our charger. I hope that clears up some questions around the old PX625 batteries that are no longer available due to environmental reasons. You can find the link to the little um, mechanical adapter to use with the hearing aid type of batteries as well as to the V80H batteries with our custom made charger in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. See you next time around. Bye.